Billy the Artist here, and I just want to show you this very quickly before we get into this, how to draw fear. Don't be frightened of drawing. Now again, this is one of my live drawings from a music event. This is held at the Penkel Festival. This is a pianist called Robert Thompson. And yes, this was a grand piano and there were people, the venue's actually held in a church. So all the techniques I show you, these are what I've used in some of my live drawings when I've gone out. So all of the construction lines that are put in using the shapes, the curves, whether it's a box or a circle or a triangle, you know, the triangle shapes that are in the piano, actually placing the people the little circle on the piano stool here and, and just creating everything is what I use when I do these how to draw videos. Again this was the same venue and this was the Rob Eglund Jazz Eklund Jazz Sextet and this is a guy called Quabs who I think is doing okay now in the main music industry in the UK at the moment. And again this is why they were actually singing and just producing the drawing actually getting the shapes down that help me to produce everything. And it can be a little bit scary sometimes, like, you know, I've got to pick up a pencil again. And even though I've been doing this now for years and years, there goes my sketchbook, I still have the same feeling sometimes. It's like, oh, can I still do this? And that's why I want to encourage you with these things. I want you to have joy in your drawing. Don't get angry and when you make mistakes. And again, on the back of Mr. Angry is the drawing of the mistake. So if you check that one out, you'll see when I actually made a mistake in the start of a drawing, then had to finish it off. And this was on a very detailed motorcycle drawing. And often you get sad and you feel blue because my drawing and my painting and my art isn't going as good as I think it should do. And you go on YouTube and you see everything else doing. But I want you to have joy in your drawing and not be filled with fear. So today we're going to do a bit of fear. And he's an interesting character. Looks like a bit of a Picasso painting. And there you go. Picasso did all the weird stuff with the eyes, the nose and everything in the wrong place. But with him, he's great. And he's such a funny shape. And we're just going to go straight in. And like I say on the last one, I put a cross in for the center lines and everything. But here, I'm just going to go in because he's such a great set of shapes. There's just a big oval for one eye. He is another oval for another eye and then he's got a kind of rectangle that's coming off for his nose and then there's a bit of a triangle for that mouth and then his other mouth bottom of his chin going down all the way down his body is a bit like a cone that's coming up and obviously his bow tie that's an interesting shape and his hands will just indicate with a couple of oblongs there for those shapes and then a shoulder again that's very very quick that we've put the basics down for his shape there's his giant slug of an eyebrow a bit like a purple cucumber really or a slug there's another one and then he's got what looks like a treble clef coming out of his head Again, just practice those swirls. In my How to Draw Anything basics, I showed you just doing ellipses over and over and over. Just practice. Use the shape of your arm to practice drawing all of those shapes, just ellipses and circles and things. So here now, we've got to get his eye, his eyeball in, and his eyelid over the top. That one's right next to his eye. He's got quite a tight pupil. And then this one is right. Fearfully slap bang in the middle. And we need a little highlight leaving. He's got wags under his eyes. From staying up worrying, being anxious. And you don't want to be anxious. Not about your drawing. You don't want to be anxious about anything really. Life is horrible sometimes and you do feel bad and things are a problem and people can be a pain around you, whether it's family, friends, at school or at work. But ultimately, you just need to learn a little bit of contentment because we don't want to be filled with fear and anxiety. So now I'm just darkening up the lines. Now again, if you're using pastels or pencil cranes, you can do the bitty edge to these quite easily. We want the top of his lip is coming down and then that comes down even more. And then 
his top lip curves over and comes all the way back up and then the bag under his eye and I'm doing these lines nice and dark so that you can see them but you can control it to whatever depth of tone you actually want but I quite like these dark lines because it reminds me of comic books when I first started in drawing cartoons because they were all just in black and white and then coloured in with block colour whereas now with these modern CGI movies they are amazing the colours are fantastic let's bring the circle round for his eye and then the top one is going off and he's such a kind of imprecise creature isn't he but there you have the eye and you want the big eye pupil in the center and then when you come to his iris you've got this really nice dark rim around the outside and then it comes quite light the highlight accentuating so again just gently and a bit lighter on the inside and then let that stay a bit brighter there and then the outside you can do darker and leaving the highlight accentuated It's like massive tennis ball eyes, hasn't he? It's not tiny at all. You'll see him coming. Don't wait till you see the whites of their eyes. And there's his eyelid going around the back, and that back section there will be shaded in. So again, this is a bit like a smile, like a boat. It's a bit like a banana or a cucumber in shape so if you think about like this drawing a banana for minions and there is a how to draw minions and grew from way back when before the minions movie despicable me on my how to draw playlist you can check that out but again think of shapes that you can utilize to create the drawings that you want again this is my 2b pencil his pupils in doesn't that look a bit crazy like no nah! again the outside is a bit darker so if we scrubble that in that's a nice word isn't it scrubble and then do the inside of the iris a bit lighter just draw the lines coming out and I've been seeing on my Instagram feed recently lots of artistic things where people are doing some wonderful drawings of eyes, spending many, many hours drawing just an eye or painting just an eye very realistically. And that's great. But here on these how to draw videos, I want you to get fun and enjoyment out of your drawings. So I'm doing these really quickly. But again, I'll just show you very quickly. Here is one of my very highly detailed pictures, uh, which people think are black and white photos. But that's what you can do with a pencil. So we need to, br oops, oh dear, just broke. Look at that, that's nasty. Just broke my 2B pencil. And again, that happens sometimes, but just sharpen it. Oh, that's really badly broke sharpening again I've got 4B and 8B as well but I quite like the 2B pencil oh just knocked my camera as well bouncy 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 don't get frightened it's okay everything's working so right we bring that down his neck is very thin and then his bow tie comes out it's quite large really And his hands come up and his fingers are over the top and a knuckle just a little kink and a wobble there and then 
if you think a finger is in three parts, you've got one part there, one part there, and then his finger comes over, bends right over. He's got very long fingers. And they're quite separated out. But using these shapes, this is exactly how these characters are made. Remember, I've covered that in some of the earlier videos, how to draw videos. They create a, the character out of the shapes, these circles and cylinders and cones, and then the computer renders them together. But they all start with someone's drawing. He's got a nice pinstripe shirt. There's his body. There's his other arm coming out the back. Again, use the side of your pencil. And you can put the pinstripes in really quickly and he's got a bit of a dog tooth pixelated jumper that's a quite a famous pattern that is but it's done as kind of pixels that's very old I, don't even, I can't remember when that's like kind of 1960s that dog tooth pattern is but he's got all the nice little squares Again, just as an impressionistic thing, if you're drawing quickly, just draw lines down and then across, making a checkerboard pattern. And you're giving the impression of the exact squares. Again, using the side of the pencil, going in the direction of the bow tie for the line pattern on it. Then you can just press on a little bit harder, give it a little bit of delineation. The shadow underneath at the bottom. The crease, you can just indicate. And then they go back that way. So you've got a bit of an L shape going on as it creases round. And then you've got a highlight right on the edge of his bow tie. And then finally, you've got his collar. It's not undone, he's very neat and pernickety, as opposed to Mr. Angry in the film. Mr. Angry, that's a Mr. Man. Rather than anger in the film, not Mr. Angry. So now we need his teeth that are coming up. So again, you could draw a square and then just draw a triangle on the end very quickly. Just drawing oblongs, put the shape of his teeth in for you. That needs to be black at the back. Quite a gap between those teeth and there's his other front tooth right at the front with a bit of shadow underneath. Now you can do lots of dots for that, a question mark, because it says just dots. If you use the side of your pencil and just kind of vibrate your hand up and down a little bit, you can indicate all those dots rather than just doing a straight line. And there's the top of his head. Now again, we've got to have a shadow underneath these kind of banana eyebrows that he's got. Darker lines on the outside. Go in the direction, use the side of the pencil to fill in the shape very quickly. Now we need... Oh, it's disappeared. Oh no, it's on the floor. Here we are, the trusty bit of kitchen roll that I've done the other drawings with. Again, there's already some pencil on here, so it'll help you. Oh, got to put his other hand in. Ah, oh, nearly missed his other hand. So, here's another tube quickly. Uh, the finger goes down again. Having the construction lines in at the background, there's two triangles. That's the second finger, and a line coming off, and the other one's just hidden behind. Just a bit of a curve coming down. So there, quickly you got the rest of his hand in, but using this colour, because it's quite light, 
all the pencil that's already on here from your previous drawings you can use and it will fill in. Now there very quickly we filled in all of his hands now coming up his face and as you just touch the lines you'll pick up more and just get an edge if you do the eyebrows you'll pick up more pencil on your kitchen roll just smudge them down a bit now again around the eye you can see the lights coming from this direction where the highlight is in the pupil so you need a shadow just around the ball if you look at a football or a tennis ball again i cover this in the basics part two on shading i do a football <laughs> or a table tennis ball you'll see where the light kind of comes from and it lights up and you need that shading on that side again i'll just use my 2b pencil increase the shade underneath his nose he's got a shadow coming down the front and we need to accentuate down here underneath his lip down off the right hand side of his mouth down the back of his neck we can increase the shading on there again right underneath the bags under his eyes the side of his nose and at the back of his eyes it's got a bit extra now again i'll really pull this in you can use these as well these are like paper smudges which are great and you can obviously get a lot more control with these and you can use the edges and the sides to smudge in with a lot more control and i use these on my highly detailed bike drawings because you can get them to a nice point and you can then smudge much better with better control and the same thing where there's already pencil on you can use that to your advantage and you can effectively draw with the smudging tool I'll smudge your sleeves down a bit and then we'll use the eraser in a moment the putty rubber and again we've got the side of his head to put the lines back on we just need a bit of shadow on his hands and on the inside of that hand kind of on the underneath of these fingers again i'm just whacking this in quite quickly and quite loosely and if you're using color you can smudge pastels the same but pencil cranes you need to get the tones of pencil or pressing on harder will get you different tones so you just have to think about some of the marks that you're making with a pencil crayon a little bit more than you do with a pencil again i'll use this and you can see how quickly you can use it as a drawing tool as well to create the shading and he's really starting to come to life now so if we finish off the shading now this will really help with his teeth just go down underneath and then you can add that shade that's right under his lip just by pushing with the smudging tool and his teeth are really starting to stand out now now the final thing is just giving him a little bit of highlight so obviously on the front of his top lip and if we get rid of those construction lines on his eye there but on the edge of his eyelid coming round on the front has a nice sharper highlight same on the top left eyelid that makes them stand out on his cucumber eyebrows just give them a couple of points right along the top of his nose right up to the bridge in between his eyes the underneath part there uh, you can just give a little bit of extra his front teeth you can clean up give a bit of whitening on there top of his lip 
in the corner of his mouth, just so as that's accentuated a little bit. And then the tops of his fingers. And then remember, just like Joy's dress, you can pull this to a point when we put the crosses on and you can put the stripes back in his sleeves very quickly and simply. And sometimes I'll use a cleaner one if I want a much cleaner accentuated line. But there we have it. Don't be fearful of your drawing. He's very, very quick. He's been fun to do. And he's just lots of nice, quick, simple shapes to do. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please do like and subscribe and you'll get the short time lapses of my how to draw videos plus the how to draws and all the stuff of my extra art. I hope that's been fun for you. I hope you enjoy your pencils and that you're not frightened of actually doing the work and just enjoy it and the way I do and just keep producing art. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Take care and I'll see you again in the future. Ted off.